they made several incantations but thunder struck him and the witch doctor died she was so scared and confused <coughs> on a beautiful saturday morning a couple named Mati and Bami got married in a very beautiful traditional attire. They were full of joy and they were given lots of gifts and money as their wedding presents. It was indeed a glorious wedding and they looked so good together. They were so happy. It was a dream come true for them. They had dated for three years and were finally getting married. So it was a thing of utmost joy to them. Both families were so happy. But Mama Bami, as everyone calls her, wasn't happy with this beautiful union that was going on between Mati and Bami. Mama Bami was so close to her son and was jealous each time she saw him with a woman. When she met Mati, she didn't like her. She was threatened by a person. She knew Mati was different and that Bami was going to marry her and that troubled her greatly. Hey, this girl is a bad news. As soon as my son marries her, he won't look at me again. Mm. She will always come before me and I don't want that to happen. What will I do to stop Bami from marrying her? She asked herself. She felt Mati was going to take her place in her son's heart. From that day, Mama Bami hated Mati with everything in her. Mati was a very strong-willed woman who could not be easily influenced. She stood for what was right. She was a woman of great morals and integrity. She was also an industrious young woman who had her own business and never depended on what Bami gave her and this troubled Mama Bami the most. Mama Bami wanted him to marry a woman who she could easily influence, who she would control and push here and there, so that her son would still be under her control through the wife. By doing so, she would have him all to herself. She wants to be in charge of everything that has to do with Bami's life, including his marriage. But it was clearly obvious that Mati would not give her that chance she wanted, so she hated her with passion. Mama Bami made several attempts to stop the marriage but she could not succeed it looks like the more she tried to destroy the relationship the more connected they became with each other one day mama bami made arrangements with titi mati's childhood friend after making lots of diggings titi loved mati but mati wanted him to be the friend they've always been titi wanted more when Mabami found out about Titi's relationship with Mati, she saw it as a golden opportunity to destroy Mati's relationship with her son. So she was able to convince Titi. She told him that Mati was going to be his after this arrangement. And because he loved her and wanted her so badly, he agreed. So Titi lied that he was sick and that he needed Mati to come around to see him. When Mati arrived at Titi's house, she went straight to his room where she found him lying on the bed as though he was seriously ill. When he saw her, he woke up. Then he said, I'm glad you came. I've been sick for over a week now, but I'm getting better anyway. And you didn't bother to tell me all this while, over a week. And why are we friends? Why have you started hiding things from me? It's not like that. I just didn't want to bother you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I promise it won't happen again. It's okay. I brought some food for you. I know you've not eaten since it's still very early. Thank you so much. What would I ever do without you? Truly, I haven't eaten anything yet. And I need to eat so I can take my medication. So she went to the kitchen and prepared the food she brought for them to eat. She was also going to eat since she had not taken her breakfast. And she brought the food for the both of them. She also brought some drinks as well. When they were about to eat, Titi sends her to help him get some water from the kitchen 
and she already finished the one she brought because he had an evil intention. Immediately she left for the kitchen, Titi added a substance that would make Marty sleep into her drink. So she told him that she wanted to lie down and rest for a while. Go ahead. I'll just finish up the food and clear up this place. You just go and rest. Thank you for the food anyway. So Marty slept off. And immediately Titi called for Mama Bami, who was close by. Mama Bami wanted Titi to remove her clothes and his as well. She wanted him to make love to her. So it will be extreme and undeniable. But Titi refused. No, she's my friend. I don't want to hurt her feelings. I'm already feeling guilty. I'm only doing this because I want her. So I won't take advantage of her like that. We do it my way and that's final. So he laid close to her. He cuddled her and placed his lips on hers as though he was kissing her while Mama Bami took pictures of them. When she woke up, Titi pretended as though nothing had happened. So she went home. The next day, when she went to see Bami, he was so angry and didn't want to see her. She was confused and started crying because she didn't know what was going on. What is going on here? I don't understand. What are you saying? Eh, 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 eh. Save those crocodile tears. You sluts. I have always known that you are a prostitute. I knew you were just after my son's money. Evil child. So Mama Pami showed her the pictures. She was so angry. She tried to explain, but Mama Bami wouldn't let her. She drove her out of the house and Bami didn't say a word. He looked at her and she walked out of the door. When she got home, she cried bitterly. Then she prayed. Dear Lord Jesus, you know I am innocent. You said in your word that vengeance belongs to you. Avenge me. This battle is yours. Fight for me and I will hold my peace. She didn't bother to call Titi. She refused to see him or take his calls. He came knocking, but she refused to open the door. After a month, Titi could no longer bear the guilt. Then he sent a message to Marty telling her everything that happened. And he told her why he did it. And that he was so sorry that his conscience has been beating him so hard. He also told her that he was going to Bami's house to clear her name. So he went to Bami's house without telling Mama Bami and told him the entire truth. Immediately he left, Mama Bami came with a beautiful lady she wanted Bami to marry. But it was too late for her. Bami was so angry with his mom. Mama, why would you frame Marty up? What has this poor girl done to you just because you don't like her? What if somebody had done it to one of your daughters? How would you have felt? This is very bad, Mama, and I'm so disappointed at you. Mama Bami apologized not because she was truly sorry, but because she didn't want her son to hate her. But she hated her more. She saw in her heart to deal with Marty till she leaves her son completely. Bami said to himself, before this woman will do something strange again, I'll quickly marry Marty. So he proposed the next week and after a month, they got married. Marty thought everything had ended, but the battle has just begun. As Mama Bami showed with every opportunity she had that she hated her. Mama Bami took a step not just further but deeper. She went to see a witch doctor who was recommended by her evil friend Auntie Coco. They made every evil move together. And together they swore to destroy Martin. So they made a charm that would stop her from getting pregnant. Six months after the marriage, Marty got pregnant. Marty and Bami were so happy, they started making preparations for the baby names and they made adjustments to accommodate the baby. But unfortunately, after three months, she had a miscarriage. She wept bitterly. But her husband encouraged her, assuring her that God was going to give them another one. But when Mama Bami heard it, she was so happy. She has not seen anything yet. I will crumble her. I will make her life miserable. Shortly after the first miscarriage, Marty took in again. And like the first one, after three months, she had a miscarriage. 
At this point, Mati and Bami was a bit confused. Obami remained positive while Mati kept crying. But Ma Bami and her evil friend Auntie Koko were very happy. Things were really going according to their plan. They always gossiped Mati. Shortly again, Mati got pregnant and after three months, she had another miscarriage like the other two. And within three years, she had five miscarriages. Mati would wet her pillow with tears. She cried every single day, but the husband kept encouraging her. Mati refused to be encouraged. This is too much, she kept crying. Mati became an object of mockery. She was called all manner of names. Some said she had eaten the kids in her womb. Some said she gave the children to her spirit husband. Mati could not walk openly on the streets without someone calling her a name. Mati became so ashamed that she had to go out at night if she needed to get anything as she could not freely walk in the day without someone calling her a name. One night, Mati got so angry in the spirit and she removed her clothes at the middle of the night and she poured out her heart to God in prayer. Jesus, I know you see me and I know you hear me. You are my very present help in terms of me. You are the one that gives children, not the devil. And you will give me a child and it will stay. I'll be called a mother of children because I know you are God. You will anoint my head with oil in the presence of my enemy and my cup will run over. Lord Jesus, I need you to show up for me right now. Just like you did for Anna, like you did for Sarah. Show up for me and put my enemies to shame. Let them know that I serve the living God. Thank you, Jesus, because I know that it is done. Amen. That same night, Mati had a dream where an angel appeared to her in the dream and told her that he was going to give her a son to wipe her tears. She knew in her heart that God had answered her prayers, so she stopped crying. And then she told her husband about the dream. It gave them so much hope, courage and peace. That same month, she became pregnant. Then, when it was three months, the battle started again. She started bleeding. The bleeding was so severe that she became so weak. Sometimes she would have to walk on her knees as her legs were not strong enough to stand. Her husband rushed her to the hospital, but the doctors could not find any trace of bleeding or baby in the womb. They went to another hospital. It was the same report. Marty cried. Oh, Father Lord, my testimony is not complete without my child. If I die or my child dies, your word is not complete. You're not a man that you should lie. You will learn to fail in my own time, Jesus. Six months into the pregnancy, she was still bleeding heavily. It was nine months. There was still no sign of pregnancy or delivery. Yet, she was still bleeding. Marty refused to visit any hospital because they've not been able to see anything so she gave up on hospitals she knew this was beyond hospital so she kept praying nine months later there was still no sign of delivery yet she was still bleeding one day Matty's friend took her to an old muscles who touched her and after checking her she told her the baby was still there but she said the child is very little and it's in your waist so Marty was wondering how it's even possible. Then she remembered that she has been having serious waist pain. She could not stand up straight on her feet for five minutes. God hid the child in there. Not even the doctors or the witch doctors could see it. She kept praying and trusting God. After 15 months, the bleeding stopped. Then the baby came out from the waist by itself and positioned itself in the right place and then it started growing gradually. When Mama Bami saw Mati's stomach popping, she was so scared. 
She knew this was different. She ran to the witch doctor. But he told her, this is beyond me. The baby is covered and there's nothing you can do. And there's nothing I can do for you this time. Just take your hands off her. But Mamabami refused. She went to another witch doctor. But he gave her the exact words. Still, she was not okay. She went to the third witch doctor. And they made several incantations. But thunder struck him. And the witch doctor died. She was so scared and confused. Matisse pastor and members from her church kept praying for her to see to it that this baby stayed to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. Exactly 24 months later, Marty gave birth to a baby boy. There was so much joy. As soon as Mama Bame heard the news, her body became so hot. She screamed, fire, fire, fire. And she was screaming, take me to Marty, take me to Marty. I want to confess. So they rushed her to Marty. And she confessed that she had put her through all the troubles that she has been experiencing. As soon as she finished confessing, she ran mad. They tried to hold her, but before they could even try to hold her, she ran out and ran into a vehicle and it knocked her down. And so she died. Before Bami and his siblings got there, she was already gone. They had to take her corpse to the village. But the elders of her family refused to bury her. They said she must be thrown into the evil forest. Such thing has never happened in her family before. And she must be used as an example so that others will learn from it. So she was thrown into the evil forest as their tradition required. So was Marty free from the hold and all the troubles of her mother-in-law. The baby grew to become a servant of God and he preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. They lived happily ever after. Moral lessons. Trust in God always. Depend on him. He will fight for you because there's nothing too hard for him. There is nothing that is too big or too small for him to do. No matter how evil tries, it can never prevail. Light will always overcome. No matter how dark it may be, the smallest light can brighten the thickest darkness.